Good morning, guys. My name is Billy Blanks. You guys probably know me by doing Tai Bo. If you don't know me, your mom knows the exercise. And I just want to say thank you guys for giving me an opportunity to come into your classroom and wake y'all up this morning. Listen up. I just want to tell you, you know, growing up as a kid, I had a learning disorder. And being able to have that learning disorder made me a kid that was very shy and, and not willing to do too much of anything. And there might be somebody in the room right now that might be just like me. But I tell you what, who would ever think I'd be a kid that would create an exercise that revolutionized the whole world? All I'm telling you guys, you have the power to be able to do that. But you got to take care of your body. And most people think exercising is for just the body. No, to me, exercising is for teaching you how to learn how to communicate with your body so you mentally can be strong. You basketball players, football players, athletes, you girls, you guys all know that in order for you to be the best athlete that you can be, you've you got to be in shape before you can do the sport. So what I want to do today is go through some basic fundamentals and test you so you can test yourself and know you have the power to be able to do something. Okay, open legs up a little bit further, shoulder width apart. Now, put your hands up. You guys know how to do this. Simple basic squat. Let me see you squat down. When you squat, break the barrier. And when you squat, don't just do this. Push your butt back and let me see you work those legs. I want to see you go down and right back up, okay? Let's do 12 of those, ready? And go. One, count it. Two, count it. Three, Go, four, five, count it, six, that's it, seven, eight, four more, one, count it, two, count it, three, that's it, four, five, all right, bring it up, okay, now, you see me when we did a squat, some of you guys might be doing this, watch me, one, two, three, you might be doing it just like that, just remember this, physical exercise does what? It demonstrates your personality, so if you're doing it like that, that tells me how much you care about yourself. So get into the exercise. You can always go back and be what you used to be. So let's do it again with some power. Ready? But this time, I want you to add a jump to it. You're going to go down, squat, add that jump. Are you ready? Let's try this. Five, six, seven, go. One, jump. Two, jump. Three, come on. Four, jump. Five, come on. Six, jump. Seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Good job. Now, next exercise. Sit down in your chair. Hands are up. Now, from here, I want you to sit down. You're going to come up. You can do what we call raising leg. Raising leg technique for balance. You're going to come up, raise that leg up, sit down. Let's try that. Ready? Left leg, then right leg. Go. One, down. Two, down. Three, come on, get those hands up. Four, work it. Five, work it. Six, work it. Seven, come on. Eight, hold. Now, hold that position. Check this out. Now, lean to the side. Sit in the middle of your chair. Put your legs out to the side. Place your hands here. Let's work on those abs. When I say one, lift that left knee up. You're gonna go one, two. Let's try that, are you ready? Go. One, count it, two, three, count it, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, go to the opposite side, lean over, and really feel that exercise. Ready, and touch that ankle, go. One, count it, two, three, count it, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, now, place your hands in the middle, lean back, place the hands on the temple, lift those knees to the chest, work those abs, ready? Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more set, one, two, count it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, now, set up, place your hands here, circle your hands, lean back, lift those knees up. Now circle those legs, come on, get those legs moving. Circle, now you're gonna really feel those abs. Pick those knees up, circle. Let me see your coordination. Come on, move those legs, go. One, count it, that's it, two, work it. Come on, I see you getting tired, don't quit. How much power do you have? Push it, that's it, work it. One, come on, two, three, work it. Four, five, six, seven, hold. Now, last thing, dips. You guys know how to do dips. Place your legs out in front and go down. Ready, and down. One, two, count it, three, I don't hear you. Four, count it, five, that's it, six, Seven, work it. Eight, one more. One, count it. Two, three, work it. Four, come on. Five, six, seven, hold on eight. Hold it there. Hold. 
come up and shake it out. Now listen up. Check your heart rate out. See how I'm breathing? You see my heart rate? Tell you what, when you want to test your cardiovascular, count and work out at the same time. That'll really give you a chance to see where you stand in your cardiovascular workout. It's good. And another thing, think about it. When you guys first walked into the classroom, how much stress did you have? A lot. But check this out. When you start working out, you know what happens? Stress leaves the room. Even if it's just for five minutes, you're having fun, you're counting it out, and you're feeling good. But where do you think stress went? You know where it went? It's waiting at the door for you to walk out because it wants to jump back on you. Just remember, you had a power to be in control of your life. Take care of yourself and make physical fitness be a part of teaching you how to communicate with your body and make it something that will help you change yourself. Thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to come into your classroom. When I come back, I want to hit you with some Taibo. Let's have a good time. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.